Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here today to check out which brand new VR titles we're going to play on our VR headsets. And now, my honest opinion about next week games: there is one way, one game I want to play, and the rest, hmm, questionable. But we're gonna talk about it all. Uh, also, I'm gonna tell you in this video how I managed to fix. <laughs> my PSVR 2 controllers so they can connect to my PC. Not fix controllers, fix the connection to the PC. Uh, and also, when it comes to Quest 3 and 2 games, I don't have any releases for next week, but we're gonna start from something what Quest 3 people and 2 people want to uh, watch because it's some stuff about their games that coming soon. So let's do it. We're gonna begin from this virtual reality showcase. Now it looks like it's gonna be a lot of quest stuff. Uh, well, it is confirmed, especially quest three. Uh, but let me tell you, let me update you. So this is next week. That's why I mentioned it in this channel. Happening on Thursday, 15th of August, 12 p.m. Eastern time. Now we've got update about it. Uh, and basically uh, they said that there will be some stuff from seven major VR studios. So this seems to be different showcase than maybe upload VR showcases, which pretty much feature everything, including shit tone of crappy indie games. This looks really legit. So let me go down uh, with what they're gonna be doing. Beyond, Beyond Frames and Combat Waffle will be revealing the first gameplay of Escaping Wonderland, plus fresh look at Silent North and Grimm. Fast Travel Game, a very popular VR title, will be sharing a brand new game announcement, plus updates on internal and publishing project. The one I am pretty much most excited for, this is, will be maybe the two of them, uh, Flat to VR Studios, a first sneak peek at what's to come from the new studio porting classic games to VR. They're working on some, you know, they're getting the well-known games and they're gonna uh, give us VR versions of it. So I'm really excited to see it. This is all happening in five days time, Keep, so very soon. I'll probably be here to check it out with you. And Dreams will be sharing updates on announced projects and also they will reveal a brand new publishing title. XR Games will be debuting the first gameplay, gameplay for uh, highly anticipated Hitman 3 VR Reloaded for MetaQuest 3. This is not the Hitman VR we've got on PC and PSVR 1. This is, let's say, I wouldn't say cool down version, maybe graphically kind of doomed down version for Quest 3. So they went for cell shaded graphics, uh, but of course with full motion controls. Um, you know, I don't want, I mean, I want to play Hitman and I probably gonna carry on playing it on PC because I really love the experience. But I don't want this channel maybe to be a, like a dick measuring contest between Quest and the PC. I'm happy for the developers that, uh, you know, the more people gonna have uh, have a chance to see World of Assassination in virtual reality. I'm sad that they never bring Hitman 1, uh, the original PSVR 1 release, to PSVR 2, but who knows, maybe it will happen. Vertigo Games will be debuting a surprise game announcement which is pretty cool, uh, from a team behind Arizona Sunshine 2 and After the Fall, and Shell Games will be sharing update on its horror hit Silent Slayer and a peek at what's next for the studio. So it all looks very exciting. Uh, but that's not everything, of course, what's happening next week, because we've got some VR games to play. So let's check out what we've got. Now don't shoot the messenger here. I, like I said, I'm only excited for one game and the uh, rest of games, I'm, I'm, I'm not really like, that. they just look shit. Anyway, Arthur's Owls World Block, you can play, you can see it on Steam. Uh, it's releasing on Steam VR and it's a title when you got worlds mixed with Tetris. Wow. Okay, let's skip that. On 13th, we've got Compound on PSVR 2. The game is already out on PC VR. It's getting good reviews. I want to definitely play it. It is a roguelike title, which is something I was, maybe I still am sick of during this generation of virtual reality games, but still Compound gives me those nostalgia vibes, you know, like those mid nineties 3D shooters, which was the time when I was blown away by 3D graphics. And I was just, holy shit, 
things cannot get better than this, but of course they did. Okay, anyway, another title what I cannot wait not to play is Hook a Duke in VR, <laughs> releasing on 13th of August on Steam VR. And uh, how I can explain this? I think the title is kind of self-explanatory and you hook in a Duke. And on 15th of August, we're gonna get another Beat Saber, maybe even Audi Kanokov, another review game that uh, just gonna probably get lost in the sea of the shitty rhythmic game games and this is reach the rhythm this time you're reaching the rhythm but you know you've got your guns and shit uh, and yeah i mean i'm not even i'm not even gonna try this now i don't want to diss any developers you know keep in mind most of games on steam vr coming from solo developers who you know treating them as passion project uh, but it's definitely not something what i want to try to play Anyway, let me let me talk a bit about my PSVR 2 controllers. I've got one here and how I managed to connect them to PC. I've got the adapter, uh, what I was going to plug to my PC. And what I did instead, <laughs> I had a good look behind my PC. I've got so many cables for my camera, my mic, uh, all the streaming stuff, of the, all the you know capture card and everything. And my USB antennas, which are two, which you screw into the back of your PC. Uh, not USB antennas, what I'm talking about my Bluetooth antennas, the one was like very loose pointing downwards, other one, other one just pretty much was not even attached. So I screwed them in tightly uh, and yes, it's working now. Saying that, I've had a lot of you telling me about the fixes and everything, uh, get the adapter, get the latest drivers and everything. Of course I did all of that before, uh, but my advice is for those of you who can't get those to work, Check on the back of your PCs if your USB antennas are, you know, pointing properly and everything. I keep calling them USB antennas, Bluetooth antennas. Uh, but also I say, because it's at the back of my PC, it's still not perfect. For some reason, the adapter, when I plug to my 3.0 uh, port at the front uh, of the PC, uh, kind of don't work. And I think uh, because the antennas are at the back, I've got my PC literally next to it. I've got my screen. And USB, of course, is so, uh, the Bluetooth, of course, is so temperamental. Uh, sometimes it's still not perfect, but I might have to just readjust them. I don't know, but it's working. I can play VR games uh, and I can play them good. Saying that I play a lot of games, you know, with flight stick, steering wheel, uh, some with motion controls, a lot of mods with just gamepad. So I'm not that asked anyway. Uh, but just wanted to put it out there that you need to have a good look at the back of your PCs as well. Uh, just to <laughs> make sure everything is in order. And it works alright. I still think uh, Sony should have uh, kind of like, I don't know, maybe let people know about Bluetooth. Uh, or maybe just include it in the adapter. I see in comment section many of you still got some problems with it. So I hope you're gonna manage to sort it out. Uh, but for me, at the moment, at least, it's everything, you know, it works fine. I play a lot of mods. I like to, I said uh, before, even though it's not popular opinion, I like to sometimes sit down and play my games with remote. I, I work as a chef, stand a lot uh, and walk around, move a lot. I barely sit down at work. So it's just nice for me and, and just rest. Uh, but anyway, that's just me. So that's it for today for all the stuff uh, about Quest, PC, PSVR 2 and everything else stay tuned to the channel uh, as soon as i know something i will let you know thank you very well very much for watching if you're not subscribed then subscribe it's always better when it's more of us and for now that's it bye 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 bye, bye.